Hey everyone, this is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to enable HSTS on both Nginx and Apache web servers. This is kind of like a two-in-one tutorial. In either case, all we have to do is add one single line to our virtual host configuration file. And if you're not familiar, just real quick, HSTS stands for HTTP strict transport security. And what that does is essentially, if it's enabled, the web browser will um, on behalf of the user, if the user requests HTTP the, and HTSTS is enabled, the web browser will request HTTPS because it's respecting the fact that only secure connections can be made on the server. Hopefully that makes sense. If not, we'll clear things up in this video. Right here, I have uh, two websites actually, one at site1.xyz, it's an Apache website running on an Apache web server, and one at site2.xyz, it's an Nginx website running on an Nginx web server. Both of these have a Let's Encrypt SSL certificate installed. And right now, if we visit site1.xyz and look at the response header, I'm using Chrome DevTools to do that, um, we don't see any indication that HSTS is enabled. Same thing for Nginx. We'll go in here, refresh the page, look at the response header. HSTS is not enabled. So let's go ahead and enable HSTS on both Nginx and Apache. I have my two terminal windows here where I am logged in via SSH to each one of these servers. Let's start with Apache first. Uh, we want to edit the virtual host configuration file. So that's going to be at etc Apache 2 sites available and then in here we have uh we want to edit the 000 default dash let's encrypt ssl.com file and like i said in here we just have to add a single line i'm going to use my cheat sheet just so i don't mess up anything and this is the line we're going to say header always set strict transport security with a max age of this really large number which is basically one year in seconds. So um, let's go ahead and save save this file. And I'm gonna restart with system CTL re well we can actually just do a reload of Apache 2 and it oops system S Y S T E M C T L. And if you do see an error here about some type of syntax warning syntax error, um, you might have to do something like A2 E N mod a2 a2 en mod headers to um, allow uh, the rewriting of headers so um, I already did that so already did that so I don't have to do that again just in case you see that error so let's go ahead on the nginx side and do the same type of thing we'll edit the file at etc nginx sites available and in here it's called digital ocean our configuration file um, associated with site2.xyz let's add that single line to our configuration file. It's gonna look very similar. Add header strict transport security with a max age of that same value, which is one year in seconds. And I don't wanna forget the semicolon there. Okay, so let's save that and do a system CTL reload Nginx. And what did I mess up again? System SYSTM reload Nginx. System SYS T-E-M-C-T-L, reload, oh, Nginx spelled that wrong. Okay, hard to do these things when you're uh, talking <clears throat> and not to make mistakes. Anyway, so we're good to go. Um, let's go back to our websites. We'll refresh the website, start with Apache first, take a look at our response header, and we now see that strict transport security is enabled with a max age of one year. And same thing for Nginx, we'll refresh the page, look at the response header, and strict transport security is also enabled with a max age of one year. So um, that is, in a nutshell, how you can enable HSTS on both Nginx and Apache. Guys, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. I'll do my best to help you out and check out some of my other videos over here. Please like this video, subscribe, comment, all that stuff. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.